Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! Asshole Consulting, how you guys doing? Remember, military members, both current and retired, or <clears throat> if you're ever in the military, or currently are, you get a discount. Hello, Cappy. I'm a 26-year-old staff sergeant currently serving in the United States Air Force. Uh, through sheer dumb luck, I found your YouTube channel and books via Richard Cooper of Entrepreneurs in Car Fam. Yeah, good old Rich up there in Canada. He's freezing his ass off in about two hours. Uh, long story short, your work has convinced me to study IT. A community college is offering the program via an Associates of Applied Science to study IT. Associates of Applied Science degree. Additionally, the program comes with two career pathways, certificates of computer network security and computer network monitoring and management. I remember you mentioning in one of your books, either Enjoy the Decline or Worthless, that computer networking is more of a trade than it is a theoretical field like computer science. I come from a plumbing background. I enjoy physical labor. My question is this. What kind of work will I be expected to perform in computer networking, and how might I prepare myself for studying for it? I have one year left on my military contract and plenty of, plenty of free time to utilize free online courses like Khan's Academy. I'd like my question answered in a video in case someone had a similar interest of this topic. PS my IQ is 121. Curse of the high IQ is a game changer for me. Um. Uh, what kind of work will I be expected to perform computer networking? Well, if you're asking between like plumbing, it's nowhere near as physically demanding as plumbing. You might have to run some wires and you know, Cat5 cable or whatever they're up to now and plug them into routers and servers, but that's about it. The vast majority of computer networking, and even this has changed in my day, um, and management is, is you just monitoring the system, uh, preventing against cyber attacks, um, of course, they all call. They all call when I'm in the middle of something. Uh, they don't even pro program ACL statements anymore, I don't think, which is where you would program the router allowing what type of traffic to come into your computer network system. Uh, the long and short of it is that it's a computer job. It's a desk job. And you're sitting there and you're just, you're routing things. You basically say, okay, allow this traffic. Don't allow that traffic. Um, the, the two of them, there's a little bit of difference. Computer networking is more trend. Computer network security, that one be a little bit more intellectually stimulating, I think. Computer network monitoring and management, they're, they're overlapping each, all, each other a lot too because it's not like you're going to do computer monitoring and management for shits and giggles. You're doing it for security purposes. You're going to have to assign rights to users like, okay, I'm going to, I forget what the six classes of users are, but you don't want to give intern Jimmy administrative rights to the whole damn system. So there, there's going to be a lot of overlap between the two. The security, I would imagine, gosh, that that one I would say is a little bit more interesting than monitoring and management, but it's not like you couldn't jump the, the hurdle between either of them. Uh, but in either case, yeah, you're going to be sitting on your ass is what you're going to be doing. Uh, it's not going to be getting up and you know physically fixing computers. Uh, what kind of work will I be expected to perform in computer networking? How am I prefer my, my uh, for my site for it? Well, you're going to get the CCNA. Well, let's look up what are the what are the standard requirements now? Uh, computer networking certifications. Let's do required. Required. I mean, it's been 70 years since then. Okay, CCNA, CompTIA A+, Network+, Plus, Certified Information System Security Professional, Microsoft Certified System as Engineer. Those right there. Five IT certifications that help you launch your career. Oh, this comes from Rasmussen. Oh, now I don't know if I want to trust it or not. Yep, CCNA, CompTIA. Oh, is that really? Do you need that? That's more maintenance than physical. It's not going to hurt you to learn. CompTIA, I remember, this is all coming back to me now. CompTIA allows you, like, how do I actually fix the physical computer and install software? It's not the worst thing to understand. If I had a big green book that did an outstanding job, and I, I just read it, read through it and made sure I understood it. It did a damn good job explaining to you what a computer is on the bit and byte level so that you truly understand 
how computer networking works, why computers are so fast. Um, seven layers, I think, of um, how data is sent across the internet and reaches its destination. It wouldn't hurt just to get a CompTIA certification and learn, you know, like how do you hook up a printer? I'm not talking physically, but wirelessly route how that works, how packages and uh, TCIP, uh, TCP, ICP protocol, TCP, IP protocol. Um, uh, so you want to learn about subnetting uh, there or routing or uh, IP addresses, but it, it would help to have a little bit of a background in that. Uh, Network Plus, yes, Certified Information System Security Professional, never heard of that. And then uh, Microsoft Systems Engineer, that I have heard. Um, this business, yeah, let's see what these guys recommend, see if there's some overlap. Uh, CCNP, CCI, both of those are put out by Cisco Network Plus. There's some other ones. Yeah, this is 2018. CCI, I don't even know what that is. Let's take a look at this one. Top IT certifications, 2017. The only reason I'm looking at multiple ones is to see which ones keep popping up all the time. CompTIA, people like CompTIA, N Network Plus, CCNA, Microsoft Certified Systems Engineer. So that's, that's what I would go and study. Now, keep in mind, they're going to probably throw some of that at you. You're going to have to get these certifications anyway. So you may as well go get these big-ass honking books. I want to do them all in one shot. Um, I'd probably start with CompTIA first, learn what computers are. Then I would do CCNA. Um, it's, it's a big green book, and I don't even know if they print it anymore. Hope it's obviously got to be updated by now. But to understand networking, I would go with your CCNA. That's like your basic bitch introduction to a computer networking. <clears throat> and then go from there. I'm sure I'm wrong. And I'm sure some IT nerds are going to say down below why I'm wrong and what you got to do. So I would heed what's going on down in the comments section. But based on the looks of it, CCNA, CompTIA, Network Plus, and Microsoft Systems Engineer. I think that one's a little harder though. But yeah, you and you just prepare yourself for a while, man. I would almost see if you could get an internship or help out somebody in the military. You could just get some hands-on experience and you know, okay, this is how you plug in a router, and this is uh, this is how you set up a modem. You know, this is this is how you set up Wi-Fi at your house. If you could get that going already, um, you'll start to intuitively understand it a little bit better, and then maybe you could go for a role in, in um, a more formal field like security or countering hackers or whatever like that. So let's go. Yeah, and then kinds of can I don't know if I would go to Khan's Academy. Why don't because you don't get you don't get uh, credit for it. Why don't you look into um, ASU Online or Western Governors University? You'll have to pay, but they have accredited courses now. Double check, double check because some of Western Governors University and some of ASU Online's programs, their IT technology programs, are not ABET certified. So what I would do is contact the, com uh, the company. The program that you're getting your associates at, the community college, find out if they accept Western Governor University credits and ASU online credits. All right, You might as well start now, get the introdu uh, introductory courses out of the way, do it for the convenience of your own home, and pay the damn money so you got those credits and they apply for it. Because if you were, if you're just saying no, I want to go the certification right route, fine. But since you want to get this applied to science degree, I would contact the college to see if Western Governors. Hey, they may even offer those classes online at the school itself. They're doing that a lot now. You don't have to be. This is not a field where you actually have to physically be there. So that's the first thing I would do is call the college. Say, do you got these classes offered online that I could take, or even your prereqs? Just knock that shit out of the way now while you got a little bit of spare time. And then, yeah, I would start studying for the CCNA and the CompTIA on your own time. And they got, they got the books, man. They got the books. I'm sure they have some online free classes you could take and tutorials and college or course prep work. But inevitably, you're going to want to get your degree and your certifications in those things. So you might as well start now, lay the groundwork for that. So, all right, that's it. You guys got questions, captains got answers over at assholeconsulting.com. We'll see all of you later. Toodles.